We spent three relaxed days on our way to Ecuador so far. The only downside was that our fridge stopped working, which in the end forced us to eat rice and beans for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, our culinary highlight was... One Bohemia for the equator crossing. Three! Two! One! Boom! South! Yeah! You know how a lot of sailors or the Navy makes a really big deal about the equatorial crossing? I just wanted to, you know, go from point A to point B and get there safely. But realizing that I had never before either set foot or sail on the southern half of our planet did get me a little emotional. It does make up a milestone in our cruising life, a big one. And believe it or not, half an hour after we crossed the equator, the wind get cooler. Cold weather clothes. That's our first for a while. Yeah. It's actually chilly here. We got some dolphins playing with the boat. It's too dangerous to go up there and show you guys, but they're jumping way out of the water. They're super hyped. So we're flying. We're doing eight knots. Yeah, they probably have to see that for a while. So our deluxe passage we've ever made is coming to an end. We sailed for another 25 miles after sunset and were then able to drop the hook for the night right outside the pass into Bahia de Caracas, where we waited for the morning to enter. Ten feet of water underneath you. What do you think? What's that? It's alarming. Oh no! There's breakers all over the place. Will she make it? I wasn't sure she was gonna. It was Harry. <laughs> She's got me sweating. Muchas <laughs> gracias, amigo. Ah, uh, yeah. So we made it through all the breakers. It wasn't that bad. The, the swell's not as bad as it was last night. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's the breakers. So it's a moving bar. So you got to kind of go around this break and around and then out. So it's best to have a pilot when coming in. If you can re record a track, then you don't need one when you go when you go out, as long as you go out within a month or two. That's how we'll be doing it. We're recording this track right here. Oh, we almost could have just taken the dam. Huh. It looks like we could have just taken the open, the open CPN track. We would have been fine, but better to spend the $35 and not get your boat swamped or grounded out there. 
So here is our first stop in Ecuador, Bahia de Caracas. It lies on the mouth of the Rio Chone, and the reason that almost every cruiser of the few that come down to Ecuador stops here is because up the river there is a little yacht club called Puerto Amistad. So what people do is they come up to Puerto Amistad, leave their boat on a mooring ball and go explore Ecuador or the rest of South America by plane, train or bus. Besides that, they have luxuries like a washing machine and hot showers. Sweet hotness. Ah, oh, sweet shower. This is your first shower in the southern hemisphere. This is my first shower in the southern hemisphere, and my first hot shower in I don't even know how long months. And it's hot and nice. Oh shit! So it's our first time on land in 12 days, and guess what we found? Donuts, like they even have donuts with the pink, I think it's more. And they have chocolate ice cream. Are you happy? <laughs> She's so happy. It's hard to, get, to keep my saliva in my mouth. What is your thoughts on your first day in Ecuador? This is our first ice cream in the southern hemisphere. And all this was fun for the first half an hour. But then we started to overcompensate our lack of sweets on the passage. And we spent the first night in Ecuador sick. Our first time provisioning in Ecuador. It's going good, isn't it? Yeah, we're using our own little jars. They all, they're all looking at us funny and they're trying, to, they're trying to put all our shit in plastic. But we're, we're making it happen. The old man in here keeps coming up to me and like putting my shit in plastic and I keep taking it out of the plastic. I'm getting some serious popcorn action right here. Yeah, so but this is what a supermarket actually should look like, don't you think? Yeah. Everything is loose. So when we cross the equator, instead of um, doing a ceremony dumping beer in the ocean or something stupid like that. We made a promise to Neptune that we're gonna try to keep uh, his oceans clean and preserve it for future generations. And we're starting today, going zero waste. What I'm thinking is that if you go here just once for grocery shopping, you save wrappers for your vegetables, you buy beans and lentils and all that loose, cheese, berries, everything. and. Um, if you go in a normal store in Europe, and I've seen the same thing in the States, stuff that's sold loose is sometimes more expensive than the stuff that's wrapped. So how is that possible? Why don't we just tax that shit? There are all those fruits here, like a bunch of fruits that we don't even know. Do you guys know what this is? I... But it sure looks tasty, I'm gonna take two. Una libra también. Fresa. I know you guys probably see sailboats with like 500 million cans of shit, and why don't we just have that? Because it's, it weighs a lot. So we can't really provision for like a year, uh, maybe a couple months. 
So we're trying to figure out like the good, the best weight to you know, being prepared ratio. Obviously, yeah, this doesn't weigh anything. Yeah, that, that kind of stuff, quinoa, dried beans and stuff, that's the way to go on, on a catamaran. Oh, so look what we did. We're, we, this is all just trash, just from us spring cleaning and getting rid of everything we haven't used in like a year. All that, all that. Some of the stuff was hard to get rid of, you know, because it's stuff that's worth something, but. Yeah, makes you, it's better if you if you can see everything you own and you know what you got, you know what you need, what you don't need, and the theory is that it makes you more free also because you know you can leave all this shit because, yeah, I don't know really how that works. But that's how to start with minimalism. You just throw all this shit out that's bad for you, that you haven't been using in a year, and that just, you know, stacks up all, all your space. The, the theory is that it cleans your mind at the same time. I know. Did it work for you? I am a blank slate. 